At Pocono International Raceway in lap 19, Franklin, Wisconsin's Ted Musgrave had a meeting with the wall in turn three that is shortened up. Car number 16. Take a look at the back end. Let's see what happened up here in that third turn area. Just behind Todd Bodine. Looks like Terry Labonte was lucky to get through there and slams it into the wall just when things are beginning to get straightened out for him. Adam Salpa, new crew chief. Ron Robin Pemberton came back with that duel when he was ninth in points coming into this race. Really looking forward to the second half of the season. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. That almost looks terminal right there. I'm sure as early as it is in the race, they'll try to get him back out. And he picked up a couple of spots, and, and uh, for the first time, the Roush folks had two cars in the top ten in points. Now take a look at the traffic coming on to Pitt Road. The pace truck stays out. Everybody else is in the pits. And let's go down there with Dick Bergman. Jeff Bodine pulls his car in. They were originally going to go with new tires, but they're going to put scuffs on instead. But the scuffs are what you ordinarily would use if you're afraid your tires are heating up too much. Jeff only has two sets of scuffs. That's all he's got. And he's about to use one of them right now. They got the right sides changed. Left side's about ready to go on. Good stop for Jeff Bodine. 21.3 and Jeff Burton takes off right behind him. At McDonald's quick pit update. And look at that madhouse on pit road at lap 21. Which is just about the place you called it where they would want one if they could have it. Certainly didn't want to call it for what happened to Ted Musgrave. Yeah, it's a good time to get a fuel reading that's half a stop and even a really big break for the Hoosier cars to get a look at their tires. Let's go down to Randy Pember. Well, it was scuffs for the Hoosier wearing Ward Burton as well. They, they, had, they put scuffs on that car. As far as Dale Earnhardt, who would come up through the field nicely, uh, four stickers for the uh, Goodyear wearing Dale Earnhardt team. The, Wal the Waltrip car, number 17, was running about half a lap behind, running very slowly up there way back. I don't know what the problem was. They're still in the pits right now. Looked like some uh, repair work at the top of the roof. Well, when they, they came around before, they, they had fallen back just, just as if he had the motor go off and it slid way back. Well, no, we're short. We'll try to get a report on that very shortly. Let's get down to Rick Benjamin and the STP pit center. Well, Ken, these drivers, uh, only 21 laps in today. They've got 179 circuits to go as we check our MasterCard race analysis. Big purse up here at Pocono. More than $926,000 today for these 42 drivers. Race record goes back a long way, uh, 16 seasons to Darrell Waltrip at 78, 142.5 miles an hour. Drivers today, a 65-mile-an-hour speed limit here on Pit Road. When uh, Jeff Gordon came in, only a couple of tires were put on the... Uh, 24 car. Let's go quickly to Kenny Wallace. Okay, guys, we're here with Teddy Musgrave. Uh, Ted, you guys were just getting settled in. Uh, can you tell us what happened? Yeah, pretty early in the race. You know, everybody was uh, just sorting their cars out, you know, and we we're in single file going into three, and a uh, guy up front checked up a little bit, and everybody just kind of went in a little slow, but the uh, last car in line, uh, it was Derek. He must not have noticed that we were slowing down, and flat ran in the back of us, turned us around, and, you know, put us out for the day. I, I can't understand why he just didn't look a little further ahead. But Ted, this family channel Ford's been running good all year long. You're ninth in the points right now, and hopefully you guys can get it back out, you think? Yeah, you know, that's the shame of it. You know, Pocono's always been a good racetrack for us, and uh, the car's running good. You know, we, we qualified a little bad because it was my fault slip, but uh, the car was excellent. You know, we were going to have a good day except for that happened, and uh, we'll come back. You know, we just don't want to fall out of the top ten in points. Well, thanks a lot, Ted. You know, Ted Musgrave has got a lot of top fives here, I think, if you look back in the history books. So uh, we'll just see if we can get the car back out, guys. At one of his greatest days, he's had three top five finishes in his career and one of them was here you saw Jeff Burton coming out 